Guys, how much awesome can you pack into one single guitar? Well, I'm looking at a new Schecter model today that I think might have an answer to that question. Alright guys, let's get right to it. This is the guitar that I'm talking about. This is the Schecter C1 FRS in the Silver Mountain finish. And guys, just take a minute and just feast your eyes on how this guitar looks. This looks like they made it out of the finest tempered blackened metal. Aside from having amazing specs, which I will get to in just a second, I cannot get over how this finish looks. And they did one of my favorite things when you have a cool finish is they didn't have the finish just stop, you know, at the edge here. So it's not just the front of the guitar, but the entire neck and back of the guitar has this same finish on it. And that looks amazing. I mean, look at that backside there. And the way the neck just flows into the body so nicely. So as you guys probably know, I had a really good time at the last NAM convention checking out all the new models and Schecter had a whole bunch of new stuff. And this one in particular really caught my eye because this is still a regular production guitar. Like I said, it's the Schecter C1 FRS, FR for Floyd Rose, S for Sustaniac, which I always love. But this is just a regular guitar that you can buy off the shelf. They always have amazing stuff from the custom shop and one-off guitars just to sort of show off how good their manufacturing is. But the stuff I like to look at is the regular production guitars that anybody could just go out and buy. Now, I will give you guys some playing samples in just a second here, but first let's talk about the specs of this guitar. So as I mentioned earlier, we've got a great uh, setup here with the humbucker and the bridge, uh, the Sustaniac pickup in the neck, uh, you know, a nice legit Floyd Rose. It's not a Floyd Rose special or anything like that. 24 frets, these are nice big jumbo frets. It's on an ebony fretboard. We've got these really cool, really unique inlays here. I'll give you guys a close up of those. Did I mention that these are stainless steel frets? Now, again, if we look at the back here, you can see how the neck blends into the body here. This is a set through neck. So it's not a full neck through, but the neck wood is set pretty deeply into the body. In some ways, for tuning stability, that's actually better sometimes than a complete neck through. Now that uh, bridge pickup that I mentioned earlier, this is a made in the USA Schecter Sonic Seducer pickup. And I think you'll hear in a second, it does sound pretty awesome. It's a pretty standard scale length on this guitar, 25 and a half inches, and up here on the headstock, Got a nice set of Grover tuners up there. There's even some cool little bonus things here like the, uh, the cavity covers on the back are carbon fiber. Okay, great specs. I'll talk a little bit more after I do the playing clips about the sustainer setup. But uh, yeah, we, we, we wanna know how this thing sounds, right? Now, real quick guys, before I do the playing clips, as you probably know, I'm really trying to grow the channel right now. I wanna do really big things in 2020. So if you guys like videos and you like content like this, and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay guys, so enough business. Let's go ahead and plug this thing in and listen to how it sounds. <laughs>
Schechter C1 FRS in the Silver Mountain finish. This thing looks as good as it sounds, in my opinion. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about the Sustainiac setup in here. Uh, these are very popular on Schechter guitars. There are a number of Schechter models that have the Sustainiac setup. Of course, it lets you hold notes for as long as you want until the battery in the guitar dies that uh, the uh, sustainer runs off of, right? Now, you've got a few different modes here. Uh, you can change the modes by this little switch down here and you turn the sustainer off and on with this switch up here so of course you don't have to have it on all the time but the different modes is uh, the middle position is basically to just uh, sustain the same note that you're playing if you move the switch up you can get these really cool high harmonics where you'll start with the original note and then it'll sort of blend it into a nice high harmonic it gives a really cool effect And then the other position, the down position, is just like a sort of a, a super powered version of the sustainer. So you can, you can sustain chords and things like that. If you need like some extra power, you can kick that in. Uh, now, one thing to keep in mind, if you don't need the extra power, I kind of recommend you don't use that mode because sometimes you'll be sustaining one note and if you're not muting all of the other strings really well, it'll start to vibrate those as well. But you can just easily just turn that off. Okay, but now the big question, right? How much does this guitar cost? Well, the price I've seen that it's going for right now is $1,300, $1,300. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, man, that is a lot of shampoo and conditioner right there. But here's the thing I want you to consider. $1,300 puts this at the higher end of the regular production Schecter guitars. And when I say higher end, I mean the regular production guitars pretty much top out around that price range. And I know that is a lot of money, but think about what you're getting here. You're getting top of the line hardware, you're getting this, this unique sustainer system, 24 stainless steel jumbo frets, you know, ebony fretboard, mahogany body, mahogany neck, great tuners. I mean, everything is pretty much maxed out as far as, <laughs> maxed out, right? Everything's pretty much maxed out as far as what you're gonna get on a regular production guitar. Sure, if you want to, you can go out and pay, you know, double or triple or more for a, you know, like a, a brand new Les Paul or something like that. But in my opinion, you're really not going to get a more capable guitar even though you're spending more money. I think Schecter does a really good job and in particular when you get into the higher ranges uh, of their models like, like this guitar here, they do a really good job with maximizing the value that you're getting for the money. So you might end up paying $1,000 or maybe even a little bit more, but you're going to get a guitar that has, you know, the cool finish, all the bells and whistles made with really good materials. And I've never had like a, a quality problem with a nice Schecter like this. I mean, I've never had something break on the guitar or like, you know, stupid things like the, uh, the strap buttons come out. Sometimes that stuff happens on cheap guitars. I've never had anything like that happen with one of these Schecters. And that's not to say that I am in love with every Schecter guitar ever made. In fact, I used to be really critical about some of the designs and finishes that they used to do like, like 10 years ago. But honestly, in the past few years, they've really stepped up their game in terms of the, 
the overall styles and designs and especially the finishes on the guitar. And guys, if you don't believe me, I mean, you can go to your local guitar center, tell them that you're really interested in buying a new Schecter, and then you can test one out there. And if you like it, you can go home and order it from Amazon. All right, guys, as always, links can be found in the video description below. I'll put links for the guitar down there as well as all my other stuff like my instructional videos and my social media links as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you soon.